Yo, yo, what the business is, YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Jody Joe. Hello. This is Jody's Corner Live, and we are here. Good morning. This is the panel. What's up? Yeah, what's up? Good morning, man. man. I said, what's oh, up? My head is screwed up right now. Screwed up. Wake up, Flash. Wake up. You got me. Say cheese. All right, so I am Jody Joe. Thank you guys so very much for being here. To my left is the underscore Flash 2, a.k.a. Nope. A-Rock. He's here. Over there. <laughs> nope. HT3, honey. Ah! 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 HT3, honey. What's happening, baby? To his, uh, to his left is J3. Ouch. Ah! <laughs> I'm Flickery. all twitching. Ah, 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 ah. Flickering. Ah. Help me, Flash. Ah. It's that one, ain't it? What? Oh, Why no. would it be that one? Oh, no. Freaking Flash, man. Just, man. What, what? Help me. Help me. Help you. Help, Help me. yourself. Help me. While we're working on camera one. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. And Jacob Angus put down 20 on the phone. Jacob, boat. what's Good up? Good morning, brother? Jacob Angus. $20 donation, 10 09 a.m. What's good, Lee? What's happening, baby? What we got what, to talk about today? What, what, so let's get right into the topic. So there's an article that has been published from Rolling Stone and other sources. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get into this article and we're going to read and summarize what's going on here. So basically, uh, speaking to the Fast Company in a new video <laughs> interview, George R. R. Martin quoted and said, When you're writing short stories and novels, yes, you may have editors and all that. But essentially, the writer is king. The writer decides how everything is going to be. People can give suggestions and you can say yes or no to them. That is him basically speaking on how he feels about the power of a writer. And then he's going to get into more of what a responsibility of a writer should do when it comes to Game of Thrones. So people were asking him how he feel about Season 8 and, and, and what his take is on, on Game of Thrones. And this is uh, what he had to say as well. Quote, now, when you get involved in television and film, um, you're working with a large team, but it can also be traumatic because sometimes their creative vision and your creative vision don't match. And you get the famous creative differences thing that leads to a lot of conflict. He also told Rolling Stone, quote, of course, you have an emotional reaction. I mean, I would prefer that they do it exact. Would I prefer they do it exactly the way I did? Sure. <laughs> The author confirmed the suspicion that he has been much less involved with the show as the years have passed. Mm, uh, mm. Quote, uh, here's just something to add to that. This article was took in uh, May 4th, I believe. And in the same article, he also mentioned he hasn't even seen season eight. Mm. He said he, had, he didn't bring himself to watch it. So... We're on episode four of season eight, and he hasn't even watched the first episode. I think that's good. That's, that's, that's kind of... I want to know what you guys think about it. For but for me personally, that's like a a, a show of resentment. Uh, that he kind of like detests, kind of like where the show has gone. This man wrote books, and these guys just making this show, and they're just doing whatever the freak they want with it. And I think that this dude's pissed off, and he really doesn't like what they're doing with his product. And he's been very vocal about it. I've seen many other video interviews where he speaks on this matter. But uh, I just want to get what y'all think about this. Uh, J three, are you alarmed or not? Uh, well, you know, um, I see what you're saying about that. It could be because he's still writing the books. You know what I mean? He's like, I don't want to take nothing. You know, like, sometimes when you write, and it's, it's, it sucks when you see something, and you're like, dang, I wish I – you could have thought of it, but you saw it, so now you're like, I, I wish – you know what I mean? So maybe he's, he, he could be just taking a step back and not watching it because he's still writing. That could be a case, but you do make a good point. He could just test the like man, I don't, like Santa Claus over there. <laughs> That's uh, him. <laughs> That's him, man. He's a different wear the hat. He's a sailor now. That's tight. He looked like he wrote every last one of them books, but <laughs> <laughs> but you know, uh, it, it, as someone like you know, he I. Did. I, I, I <laughs> I like I like writing stories and stuff, and I understand what he's saying, you know. And that's just the bad side of how, um, you know, when you when you give people the rights to your product, you know, what I mean, we've seen it multiple times. You know, the MCU is major for that. Star Wars is major for that. Uh, Star Trek, you know, what I'm saying, you give people the rights to your your work, and then <clears> it never <throat> comes out the way you want it. Uh, a good example of that was Saving Mr. Banks. Was it Saving Mr. Banks with Tom Hanks when he was yeah Disney? Disney? Yeah, mm -hmm. all right. 
and the the the, the woman that wrote uh, uh, Mary Poppins. You know what I'm saying? She was like, nah, I don't want y'all touching it because y'all going to change everything about it. You know what I mean? Alan Moore did the same thing with The Watchmen. So I understand how he feels, man, because Hollywood don't care. They just want the dollar, man. And you can tell by the writing that Game of Thrones has been presenting for the last, I would say the last, I would say the last three seasons, they have been declining from what he was he was all about. Okay. Well, that's well said, man. We have a donation that's talking on this topic uh, from uh, Eric Raim Zanny. Shout out to Eric Raim Zanny. I appreciate you, bro, for the epic love and showing support to support this studio <laughs> to give you guys quality content all the time. Rent, bills, all that. We understand, and y'all understand, too. Eric Ramzani says, I miss yesterday's live broadcast, <laughs> but that ain't happening today. Hey. I'm at work, but I'm watching Jody's Corner on the side. That rabbit story from yesterday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that rabbit story from yesterday killed me, bro. Fire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got hey, 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 I, I forgot I told y'all that, man. <laughs> You're sick, bro. <laughs> I'm not sick. I was just a kid, man. Uh, I kid, grew kid, up. Uh, kids do weird things. Uh, I grew up not, with my mom teaching me to take care of my toys because she used to compare me. You don't want to be Sid, do you? No, mom, I don't want to be Sid. Sid broke his toys. I'm not Sid. I'll take care of him. But you, bro, you took that to a next level, bro. You'll scare Sid. You don't want to be Marilyn, uh, uh, no. Charles Manson, do hey, you? Hey, <laughs> no, I don't be Charles Manson. Look, did he, did look, he bleed? Look, see, see it, uh, is, he peed a little bit. <laughs> look, <laughs> look at that this light. Strawberry like. jelly, right? Look, look, look at this light. I, I, he, he, he was a captured animal, and then I released him from his torture. By killing him? Now he's in a better place. If you, uh... If you could choose to, would you go back and undo? I'll do it would again. <laughs> Look at those eyes. I'll do it again. Well, I, I, I mean, I, as I was a kid, I just wanted to see how how, uh, how much how much he could take, and and then he took too much, and then he he, he got released from his prison. So you telling me that he didn't? I didn't want to see him caged up anymore. You, you telling me that? If, he didn't if I see him outside, uh, he would got ate uh, by a dog or something. He didn't try to use defense curl, no? Huh? Defense curl. Nah, double kick, nothing like that. No, no. He needed Harden. Uh, he was no ground type, nor rock type. He was a normal type. He needed protect and uh, and and Harden. I made sure his, his PP was at zero. So yeah, he yeah, because he released it, <laughs> Bruh, Uh So, if you would, if you guys want to know what a killer looks like, uh, AC three, slowly look into your camera and then say, "I would do it again." If you could go back and turn the time, would you do it again? I'll do it again. Oh, my God. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, the eyes of a killer. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Jody, you seen that chicken cock video last night, huh? <laughs> yeah, I saw it. <laughs> oh, yeah, on Instagram, right? I didn't show you up. Hey, follow me on Instagram, Jody's seen, Corner One. I seen a little bit of, of E. He <laughs> showed me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, was, it was like, oh, it my was God. thick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, shout out to him for bringing up that rabbit uh, topic. We got off topic a little bit, but let's get back on track, yeah, though. Yeah, uh, I feel I feel like that he. You're right. He doesn't like what what's happening with Game of Thrones. Uh, he doesn't yeah. like that. They're I don't want to say they're they're not giving they're not doing it right, but they're not doing it right. They're not giving it justice. Uh, and and, and especially with this season, season eight. It's rushed. Uh, 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 a lot of characters are uh, everywhere, uh, and him not watching it, like him not, you know what? I'm not even gonna watch this crap. You know, I don't. He he probably don't want to get stressed out. He probably don't, he probably want to get mad. Like oh my, he don't God. want to get hurt. That too. And he that, want, yeah. yeah, you know, like like like, like he don't want to call him. Like, hey man, like, like like what's doing to my project, man? This is my baby, man. What's going on? Like what's going? On? So so I I feel that. Uh, he was just putting it, putting it nicely, but he did say, uh, say some facts that when it's a big production, when when it goes into the, the film, there's a lot of hands in the cookie jar, you know, and sometimes mm-hmm. you, you want to do it a certain way, but <clears throat> they have another vision for you, so you got to compromise with them. Yeah. And so he understands the process, but he still doesn't like it. Uh, I can say that they could have done better with 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 his work, um, but but the fact of the matter is, 
they're not, and he he doesn't want to be a part of it, you know. Because good, if I if I was him, I would at least talk to him, you know, like hey hey, you should do this, you, you can make this better, you can do that. But I I feel that he he doesn't even want to partake in them anymore, you know. He he doesn't want to have nothing to do with them uh, because they're trashing his baby. Um, I agree. Uh, I I I I feel for this man because it, it it takes a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to make up these you know to to write a book. I never wrote a book before, but I know that crap is. It takes a lot of work, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, I probably even read books. Uh, shout out but- to Misery. <laughs> uh, the film Misery let me know how hard it is to write a book. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you follow like you know the Bible. So <laughs> so I know I know he he's a hurting right now. You know I I want to say he's like like George Lucas. But you know it's kind of different, I guess, because he did sell the the rights to Disney, so it was like I'm, maybe, maybe it's his fault. Yeah. It's his fault. So yeah, man, uh, I I completely agree w- with him um, in both ways. Like it, it, it's being done bad, but he understands why it's being done bad. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, yeah, that's okay, my take good. on it. Well said, bro. <clears throat> my lady Latoria Bosley came back with a ten dollar donation. Shout out to Latoria. Latoria Bosley. She says they followed the story until they had nothing to follow. Mm-hmm. Season five. George can blame himself. Mm. He should have finished the books. Mm. Me and George got beef. I've been waiting forever <laughs> for the ending to this story. <laughs> <laughs> I got beef. So I guess she's a book reader. Um, I did, takes, I did, like you I said. Did, I didn't know that. Played. I didn't. I didn't know he he didn't finish the. The, uh, the yeah, books. He, I didn't, uh, yeah, he didn't finish. George R. Martin came out. I know that. I, I seen I him that. say that the show. I read him say that the show could have been. I know that he he, if it was according to if, if it was up to him, he, the him? show should have went nine seasons. He says at least nine seasons, based on the material that he has. Oh yeah, it took a lot. I heard. I, I, oh oh. Mm. All right, about the finishing of the books, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They started the show knowing the books weren't done. So, I mean, that's kind of HBO taking a risk, don't you think? Oh, you're not done with the books? Well, it's probably only last one or two seasons anyway. It turned into a huge mega success. Yeah. So they rolled the dice, and now they're like, freak the books. Let's go ahead and just move well, on well, forward. Okay, okay. He can't he, he can be upset with the material if the, they're not going off the books because they can't go off the books because there's no books to go off of. Maybe, maybe right. I mean, it's still I mean, his creation, you know? still, bro. But 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 but, but it, 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 he's mad. He's upset. Like he want they want he want them to go off the books. No, uh, uh, it's more than that. It's more go than off my like, material. Like, it's it's like, more, go off my books. It's like they, no, 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 it's like no, they no. go to him and say, "Yo, what what can happen?" He writes down his whole list of stuff. Like, "Hey, yo, this way this way I see <clears> it going. This is how I see it going." Yada yada yada. And they go, "Okay." They're not using his stuff. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do it our way. He, they're, they're, he he complained in the article and many times that the writers aren't consulting him enough. Yeah, you have this source of inc- and he said that he's told them ways to go, ways they should go, and they're not doing it. Mm. So it's not about the not the books not being there, Latoria. Which I understand you want those books. Shoot, I would love to have them because we'd have a better show. <laughs> it's the fact that he's there with all his infinite knowledge and he's giving advice and they're not heeding it. Yeah. So it's- why would you not? It's not like he's dead. He's alive. I mean, yeah, but you—you yeah, you, you, you you just can't—you just can't go off brainstorming like that. Just, oh yeah, we gonna go in this direction. And I mean, the producers—they know what to do to try to keep people's attention to 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 watch the show. I mean, not all producers are good at it, you know, but they know what to do to keep people watching the show. So they're gonna do their best to keep people attention to watch the show. So I mean, they just can't go off his brainstorming. Just, just go in this uh, direction, K-Nex. Or something like that. K Nex, stop I knew, it! I knew, you, I knew you were gonna see that coming. Stop it! Go watch my, go watch my season seven reactions before you say something like that. I was complaining about the writing of season seven when Jorah was alive. Actually, I was the first one on this platform who called out the writing. The rest of YouTube followed my suit after I already said my piece. Oh, the writing! Then all of a sudden, the writing for season seven is so bad. Tyrion is so weird. I started that. But go ahead, Flash. When all your favorite reactors on Game of Thrones were not calling out the terrible writing, go back and watch their reactions. They were just soaking it up. Oh, cool, cool, cool. 
I said, this isn't right. Why is Tyrion like this? This is a dumb plan. I was calling it out on site. Season 7, bro. Go back to Season 7. You'll see how I felt about the That's show. That's funny because that is true. He, he was on that sheet. I was calling it all out as we see it, bro. Learn about me. <clears throat> hey. Um, but I, I think but, you're on to something. You're talking about the producers mm-hmm. have the ability to keep us engaged in the right, show. Right, right, It's something that but, – but here's the counterpoint. The best season – Arguably the best season is season four. Mm-hmm. That's a book season. Is that is that the Red Wedding season? That's season three. Which was okay. Spoiler. Season four is <laughs> is Tyrion Tywin the death the, the death of Tywin. Uh, oh okay okay I got you got you, got you yeah got you. yeah. Season four is to me personally is the best season and that's a book season. The best seasons are book seasons. Right yeah. right. Mm-hmm. The non book seasons are the worst seasons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, season five and is probably the worst season. And then that's when I was gonna go on your point. Um. The books are really good, but then it takes it takes him what six years to seven years to finish one book. <laughs> I mean, I don't, it can't be that long. Well, yeah, no, it, I mean, it, it, it can't be that long. It's not it's six not. years, seven years. It can't be that long, bro. He needs to stay out there. Books take a long time, though. It books does take True, a long time, but six years. But when you, but back on Flash, back to yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Some Flash before we go to J three. Cause I rem- I don't remember the exact time length, but I know he um, I heard that he takes a while to finish his books. Okay, yeah, man. X videos. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it takes take a while to do it, any book, right? <laughs> X videos take your time, so bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, one sentence go right there. That's why you just need your, your paper and, or typewriter to just finish mm-hmm. it. Hey, about that, give me a link to the reactions. He said a lot of people were calling the writers out before uh, the writing out before me. Okay, about that, send me links with dates of their reactions. Send me links to my DM at Jody's Corner One, and I'm not talking about people with with you know, who are, no one knows. I'm talking about if you have a reaction and a following, send me the links of the reactions. I'm calling you out right now about that. Nah, there were a lot of reactors calling out the writing longer than you, Jody. Sorry. All right, send me the links. Put the names down too in the chat. Put the names in the chat right now, live, bro. Here, live on Jody's Corner, and then I'm gonna go check. I don't mind giving credit where it's due. And if they and if they did like me, I need to holler at them because we need to uh, collab. <laughs> <laughs> Black Panther, NJ, I guess New Jersey, Roselle Fish, $10. <laughs> Shout out to the Super Chat, bro. He says, yes, they can because they bought the show and, they so- and he sold the show. They can do what they want. Oh, wow. And most people ain't sat and read each of them books. <laughs> the masses... Would not ever be into this without the show. I agree with that. That's true. The masses mm-hmm. wouldn't be into this without the show. I'm one of them. Um, I agree with you when you said they could do whatever they want after they bought it. I don't it's disagree there, with you there. Yeah. The same thing with Harry. I don't disagree with you there. And that's not the argument we're making here. <clears throat> what I think what is being said is that does just because he sells a show, like let's use uh, George Lucas because I mm-hmm. think that's more common, right? Yeah. George Lucas sold Star Wars to Disney. Now. Kathleen Kennedy was George's friend for many years. You know, pretended to be his friend, I guess. Oh, wow. George, in many interviews, <laughs> said he trusts Kathleen to take his babies. He called Star Wars his babies and do what's right with it. He gave Kathleen in her hand three scripts for three movies for seven, eight, and nine. Kathleen took those, ripped them up, and burned them. And now we have that trash seven, that garbage eight, and this even trasher probably episode nine. So because he sold it to Disney, should we not be able to, should George not be able to say, you are effing up my creation? Should we not be able to critique them for what they do with what they purchased? I mean, it's kind of too late now if he sold it. So because you sell it, it protects you from critique? <laughs> Is that what we're saying here? Man, he sold it so he don't have no right to speak on it no more. He that's not it. true. That's mm-hmm. fun. That's wrong. He should have just sold partial he doesn't have so the, he can still have the say so uh, to for the show only selling it means he doesn't have the right to put it in a show form he has every right to be angry and to put interviews and say how he doesn't like it yeah he has that right to but it, it has no merit no more because it's not his so so it's like you're 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 being a dead horse because they don't gotta listen to you yeah you you, you problem, can want to complain about it. Oh, they they're doing this uh, uh, wrong. They're doing yeah, that. If I still had it, if right. I this by that, okay, tight, bro. Put that in. Like they not, <laughs> they don't want to. Like like it doesn't matter because it's not his no more. Yeah. It, 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 what he say means zero. 
That's not true. I thought, what? He has a huge fan base. Look, we're talking about it now. It's all over the internet. <laughs> yeah, what he, he says means a lot to Game of Thrones fans. There's a lot of what, what, book. Fu- there's a lot of book loyalists. You, you, you know, you know, you know what what, what 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 speaks to the fans more than than, than him complaining was wrong and right with 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 his stuff that he sold. What that he sold it. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I get you. So that's so, how I feel so, about George Lucas. It, that's what I'm saying. So so if, if a guy that I loved made. Made stuff that I love watching. He sold it. I'm like, if he sold it, like, why should I listen to what he has to say about it? Because he sold it. Uh, uh, clearly, he don't care about it no more. So okay. why? Sh- you know what I mean? Uh, that's I, how I feel. That's well, how I feel. Oh wow. Well, okay. well I, I agree and I disagree with that because <clears throat> the simple fact is, even if you sell your product to someone and it's something that you built, it's really disrespectful and spit in the face for them to take something you made. Even though they bought it and just destroy it, you know what I'm saying? That's like, that's like, that's Star Wars shoot. You know, uh, Luke Skywalker. Let's say Luke Skywalker was the best Jedi of them all. He yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He was the best Yoda. Jedi of them all, and you know he was this epic character, and everybody adored him. He was it's epic. He, he was all that, right? Okay. He's and, all that. And then we say, okay, mm, we don't want to go with that anymore. Let's just reboot it and make Luke a normal guy. The hell you do that for? Why would you do that? You can't do that. Yeah, but we bought it. It's ours. I've always felt he should be gay. I've always felt he should be black. I've always felt he... Nah, I don't give a freak. What you felt like, this is what the character is. Some characters are, are set in stone, need to stay in stone. It, you can't change it because you buy it. You just take the franchise and you create it, more it, to it. It, it. If you... if you, We're going to put you, a 60-second timer on about that. I've been waiting about five minutes for him to put some names down. I called him out in the chat, and he went, Ghost. This is not power. If you if you if you was that concerned uh, about uh, about about your bubble. about your uh, your baby your your product, you you wouldn't have sold it, right? Well, so, exactly. You know, or you can even sell partial old, of it. These are two old individuals, and Marvel. And number, here's another one: Marvel really cared about their their products, but they were going bankrupt, so they had no choice but yeah, to that's sell. Different, it. right? So and and look what they're doing with their characters. <clears throat> They're changing things around. Oh, we bought it as ours, but you know the circumstances of a lot of that. You see what I'm saying? It's 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 nothing wrong with, you know, adding to the product, but don't touch what is already there. And let's just say because they bought Game of Thrones, they say, okay, well, we felt Khaleesi should be a witch that has a big nose and ugly instead of beautiful Targaryen. She should be an ugly Targaryen. And because they will, they will f- lose the viewers. That's when the well, producers well, come into play. Well, well, That's well, what I was playing earlier. But, but what I'm saying is that's the whole idea because you take something, it doesn't – you, it doesn't mean that you should just change it. You just add to the franchise. That's what made that's what Disney purchasing Star Wars was more of an add-on base. Okay, mm-hmm. they have a home now because either way they still would own it because they got Fox now. But it would be like uh, you know, David Mudd had a good point in the chat. Go ahead. Because he sold it, does that not make him a consumer so he could speak out like a regular I read, fan? I read that too. Yeah, I agree well, with that. Bro. Well, yeah, I, I mean, he can speak out, but his word holds weight. Is what the point I'm trying to make here. He's not just a senseless shut oh, up word, be quiet. Word, word, his word, word holds weight. weight. Yeah, you're okay. right. Yeah, hold oh, wait. Yeah. Hold wait until they close that office door and rewrite his shit again. But 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 okay, it, 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 his his words, uh, 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 they hold weight, and 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 we we care about what what he has to say because he 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 made Star Wars. You know, you know he made Game of Thrones, something like that. But you sold it, so now. I don't have to listen to you. Yeah, you you can speak uh, your stuff, uh, but I don't have to listen to you because you true. you okay. sold no, it, no, bro. I'm not no, saying no, that you have to listen to no, me. You're right, but you can be criticized for choosing not to listen to me. That's yeah. the point I'm trying to make here. Yeah. And Jason three thousand X says HG three. If Jody's Corner is known for being real and he sold my, his company and people became fake and PC on this channel, you're saying that I can't come out and criticize them for being fake and PC. He shouldn't care because he sold it. That's what I'm saying. I shouldn't care. You shouldn't care because you sold it. What? Yeah, you sold that you sold your stuff. You, sold you don't care franchise. about this no more. All right, so why do you care about it? Wait, because you sold it. Bec- okay, let me let me. Let's be, let me I, I love what we're getting here. So because I sell something means I don't care about it. Is that what? That's what you're saying? Yes, this got you. Wait, wait, got this, you. this right here you got you. Wait, wait, wait. wait. This right it, here, man. this right here. Huh? This is your baby. This right yes. here, homie, yes. is your passion. That's correct. If you sold it, you don't care about it. So, <laughs> really? Right, if somebody right, been real, 
here. Being real. Like, if somebody right, right. comes in if, here if, and if, offers if, me a hundred million dollars and I sell it, that means I didn't care about this. It's a hundred million dollars. Now you don't care no more. This shit go. That your passion, bro. What? That your passion, bro. What the actual freak is going on in here, bro? That your passion. A hundred million dollars means I don't care about it. That your passion, bro. You sold Jody's corner for a hundred million. Hey, what the freak is going on here? I sold all fifteen of my Game Boy Advances, and I cared. I just had to pay rent. So I can't. <laughs> I got a, I got a family, bro. Man. <laughs> if I sell Jody's corner for a hundred million dollars, that means I don't care about it. I'm gonna it's a hundred million dollars. Hey, 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 you doing that? You, you, as, far, as far as as far as money goes, <laughs> Josh Lucas and you, it's two different leagues, man. So, I understand, but he's yo, I'm going to he's your. He's saving for money. Come on, I'm going to he your. Already had money. Of selling it means you don't care. You, I, you already had money. I wanted did, my. You already had money. You, you don't agree with that. He already had money. No, 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 no. You agree with that? No, no, no. You agree with that? He he already had money already. George already had money. He already had money. You, I'm broke. Yes, I'm broke. You're broke. That's why hundred dollars look good to me right now, bro. You're broke. Good to me. You're, you're broke. So, so if you sell it, you be like, oh, this is my passion, my baby, but I need money. So, 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 yeah, yes, it's kind wow. of the same, but it's not. That's business, bro. Nah, man, this, it's kind of the same, but it's that not. Bi- that's business. I'd be a fool to he, not he, sell this for hundred million. He, you never. Jar, Jar, I take that for ten thousand. I take that money million. and I come back with a bigger studio and a new Jar, channel. Jar, bringing my passion. Wait, 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 wait. Jar, 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 you forget about Jar, Jar, Jar sells Star Wars more. for the money. <laughs> he sold Star Wars because he was tired of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big difference between you. No, don't go. No, no. Freak you. It is. Don't, don't, make this big don't change it. Don't change it up, motherfucker. Well, you changed it. You he said, changed it. Said, you said he changed it. Because you sold it means you didn't love it. And I'm saying that's bullshit. And, and this People is sell things they love all the time. Yeah. Sometimes, what is it? What is the famous God <laughs> quote, Godfather quote? I'll make him an offer he cannot joke. refuse. <laughs> you make me an offer you off. can't refuse, bro. Hey, I ain't refusing 100 mil. Hey, Night Stalker. And what's that other? And what's that saying? And what's that saying? Somebody's trash. It's another man's treasure. That's not a prostitute, G. Crazy. That's insane. I love it. <laughs> Sugar free sells. That was his trash, man. They don't care. <laughs> no, but all, all honesty, bro. Check this out. Look, look at music. Look at the music business, right? The Beatles, right? The Beatles sold their music. They cared about their music, and they really cared when Michael Jackson bought all their music. They cared. They were mad, bro. They couldn't make nothing else off their property. It was theirs. Michael owned it, bro. It just it just happens sometimes, you know. Yeah. Like Prince and them, they fought for their music back, bro. Because when they were starting, they had to sell some of that stuff so they can live, and they sold some of their rights, but they wanted their music back. R. Kelly right now is he's messed he's messed up because he couldn't read his contract he wrote. Nah. I see you doing, Jay. He wrote. I don't know, <laughs> no, 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 no. I see you doing, man. Yeah. Of. Yeah. Of. You're, you're doing it. Of. Of. David Benioff wrote X Men Wolverine film. Shake my head. If that's true, that's terrible. That's a terrible boy image. That film sucked. If he wrote, <laughs> are we talking not X Men Origins Wolverine? Because that one was, it was bad, but had some. You mean it was you decent? Mean, you no. mean when the Wolverine in, in Japan? In Japan, bro. that was terrible. Yeah, you talking about that one? That's the worst X Men movie ever made. Yeah, man. That's the worst. That's, yeah, man. That's bad, bro. That's bad, bro. It's the worst Wolverine, bro. Uh, so thanks to OF is that if that's true that Benioff wrote that wo- the Wolverine movie, <laughs> da- Ben Davis, shout out to your pants, bro. Ben Shut Davis, it. five dollars on us. He says, "You guys think this season will affect the spinoffs?" I love you guys. Keep it up, man. We're getting a fan base. I'm shout out to being in the daytime, bro. These are all new people. Shout out to the daytime, bro. Uh, shout out to, oh shout out to my the god, daytime. What kind of logic? Yeah, you reckon them AC three? But yeah, man. Um, I do think that it will affect the spinoffs because I think George R. Martin is more involved with the spinoffs, not as much the main show. Oh, that's going to suck if, if the spinoffs come on with a bang. Books. and then If the spinoffs are better than the OG show, we'll come back and revisit this in five years. And then I'm going <laughs> to freaking lay into you and, and you too. <laughs> and your little dog too, motherfucker. That's because he finished those books. Yeah, whatever, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, my girl, Alyssa Jett. Alyssa. She came back with a dub. Shout out to Alyssa Jett. Alyssa Jett, let her know because she was watching my reactions since season six, since I started. She says, yes, Jody, you called it. And why we still love this show, it still hurts. While we still love it, it still hurts. Watching them ruin the characters we love. <clears throat> Alyssa was there, bro. She can vouch for your boy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, just, uh, Josh said he wrote X Men Origins Wolverine. Okay, so it's okay, not as bad then. It's yeah, not as bad. Okay, it's okay. not as bad. Great. It was just the Deadpool that messed it up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, got you. Bubble, he says something to you. AC3, you're making it black and white when it's not. It's two sides, two convos to be had. Selling doesn't mean you don't care, but it's a life slash business side to it. I think you know that. I think you know you effed up when you said that. What? Just because you sell it, me, you don't love it. Please. I don't think he means it to that extent. He just means that you don't care about it no more. You just want to get rid of it. Yes. All right, yeah. all right, all right Flash. So let me ask you. <laughs> let me what ask do you, you love in this world or care about? Your PlayStation. Oh, I guess you can oh, say that. Yeah. Say like all right, all right, all right. Your, play, all right, all right. your PlayStation. Your PlayStation. If somebody comes along and offers you five hundred dollars for your PlayStation, would you sell it? Five hundred. Yeah. Not five hundred. A thousand. I probably would do it then. Two thousand. Oh no. Let's let's leave probably out of it five thousand. Would you sell it? Oh yeah. Look look you don't no, care no, about no, it. no 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 wait wait. I don't, don't care about it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Obviously hold on. I just asked you. Hold on, you hold on, just hold said you care about it. No no no. Let me take a. Just said he cared about it. Let me respond. I'm not asking. Let me take a page. Flash doesn't talk enough. Flash doesn't speak enough. Let's go. Speak. Obviously, if he if he can flash money in front of me, and I just give you my stuff up like that. That means I don't care about it no more. I just like it's not that I don't care about it. I care at that time, <laughs> Billy and I gave it up. So the money yeah. took your care away. Yes, <laughs> and got him some sweetest massages. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, okay, okay. If, if y'all if you ever go to, to to the stream and talk about love and passion, something like that, let's talk about uh about relationships it's about, it's about girlfriends it's about fiancés it's about wives it's about kids homie it's about sons and daughters uh you know it's, uh, it's, it's, are you sure you want to about love and passion <laughs> if i gave you 10 trillion dollars can i have your son for how long forever <laughs> for how long <laughs> ten, ten, 10 trillion 10 trillion good for you Nah, 10 trillion. Nah, can I visit him on weekends? That's true passion. Can I visit him on weekends? It's a no. No, he's can mine. I, no, he's I, mine. I know, but can you share, he's him, mine. Can you share him with me? 10 trillion, he's mine. The boy is mine. Trillion. Will I ever see the him again? The boy is mine. 10 trillion. No. That boy? No. All right, can I? 10 trillion. 10 right. trillion If you say no, that's true passion, that's true love, and it cannot be bought. Well, hold on AC3, now. HG3, that is just one thing that can't be bought. Well, hold on now. That doesn't take hold away on. from any of the hold other. Hold on now. Saying passion. What if and love? What, what, what <laughs> nice if I, try. What if I give you a pre baby? What's that? That's me. <laughs> it's, it's still inside him. That's totally <laughs> pre baby. <laughs> I give you a pre baby. Hey, bro. In the cup. I really thought about going Walter Frey. Fine, I'll make another. <laughs> I swear by the old gods and the new. I'll cut the throat. Fine. Uh, I have another another one. One. <laughs> and that stupid smile. I have another one. Facts <laughs> though. Hey. Rob, get up! Get up, Rob! <laughs> He's not taking my bluff. <laughs> she, and she slit that throat too. Yep. And, and, she and yep. you know, later that day. He I made another well. one. I might as well. He made another one. Hey, bro, I might that first well. one that <laughs> I'll have another. <laughs> Oh, you a loose son of a bitch. Oh. You no, know you didn't care about oh. them kids, bro. <laughs> you didn't give a freak about them wives. That was from um, uh, Game hey. of Thrones. Yeah, GOT, Corvus. Sit her throat, man. But yeah, all right. Well, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you loved me. <laughs> Ray. That was different. All right, cool. J3, all right, so what's your take on it, bro? I want to know how, how you overall feel. Because HD3 says he's against what I believe, you know, Flash aligns himself with HT three. I'm I'm with you one hundred percent. One hundred percent. It's not a. It's you can have a lot of passion, man, and and <clears throat> sell your product, bro. That's the whole point. I have a lot of passion, bro. But if somebody, if I wrote a script or I wrote a story, and somebody said I I I want to I want to use this, but I want to buy it from you, and I'm hungry, eat yes. a cup of noodles, man. <laughs> I'm going to sell that product. That's, that, that's that you passion. Know what I'm that's that passion. Please, hey, sir, hey, can hey, I have it, some more? And it, it's, 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 it's funny because that's how Sylvester Stallone got into the game. Sylvester Stallone, homeless. He sold his dog, G. Oh, he, he has one of the saddest stories of success. Sylvester Stallone, homeless, struggling. He wrote Rocky. He sold his dog, bro. And when he got his little check from Rocky, he went back to get the dog. He, I think he sold it for like 100 bucks or something. 
Dang. And the dude was like, oh, okay, $20,000 for that dog. Because he did Rocky. Stepped up. He gave him that $20,000 and got his dog back, G. It's tight. People, you sell stuff to get something. Sometimes you got to get there, man. You got. You know what I had it. to do for them lenses? Bro. <laughs> I had to dip into money. I sell some booty? Have. I would have. No, okay, okay. It would probably been easier to sell some booty versus <laughs> what I had to do for these three lenses, bro. I felt like mm-hmm. hustling flow. I need that mic. <laughs> you see that mic right there, girl? That mic? I need that mic. Man. Now, I'm going to go on there, and you're going to go in the room with him, and you're going to come out with that microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I don't a, want to. I don't want to listen. Listen, me, hear me. Hear me. <laughs> me I need hear that. Me. God, I need that damn mic. Now I'm gonna go on to the car, and you gonna come out with that dang damn microphone. That's how I felt, bro. It would have been much easier to go in that back room with a a middle aged man <laughs> and, come, <laughs> and come out with three lenses a than what I had to do. Movie. Oh God! Oh shoot! Oh, suck that shit up! <laughs> oh. You would have oh. came out with those lenses and extras. Oh, yeah, ever with you? <laughs> All right, go ahead, take my <laughs> <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. That's funny. But no, real stuff though. Like you know, you you can, it, man. I'm I'm. You you write stuff to sell, man, and you know I mean he made his little money off the book, but now it's time to make big money, and they bought it. We don't know how long the contract is. Yeah. Saban's did the same thing with Power Rangers. He sold Power Rangers to Disney. He got a fat check off the motherfreakers, and then he bought it back. Who's to say uh, George won't buy it back? It's just the fact of the matter is they're butchering what he has. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Disney did the same thing to Power Rangers. G. Disney took Power Rangers and they destroyed it. And Saban said, absolutely not. Let me get that back. Let me get that back. Is Saban he, a person or a company? Saban. I think he's a person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know hey, a person hey, and a company. I know, but hey, I threw you off and everything. Hey, I don't think it's the same thing like Saban. Is, is a person? Is that, is, is that a building? Is that's, that's his, that's I know it's his company. logo, but it's that's his company. But he is his own is that his person. Name? His name after is that his name? Right? Yeah. Okay. That's okay. his name, though? I think he's his from, last name is His last name is Saban? He's from the Middle East. I was about to say, he's Indian, yeah. Yeah, that's that's the ironic thing, right? He has Power Rangers and stuff, and he's not even <laughs> Asian, bro. That's crazy. It, it, it's a, it's a, a, a intern at my job, Mr. Boss, man. That's why I'm like, hey, yeah, it's tight, bro. <laughs> hey, straight, dark chocolate Indian, man. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, one of those dark ones. But yeah, let, let's, let's, They're really, cute. let's really uh, dissect this man real quick. Yeah, so yeah. let's mm-hmm. look at George R.R. Martin. a long Martin. time. Real quick. Jason, <laughs> <laughs> nah. fat jokes. All right, look, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's overview his, uh, his body of work. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All right, I was yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> All right so look, let's, let's look at the man, though. Here's a man who was not popular. No one knew who he was four years ago. They still uh, don't know who ago, he before is. Before the show. No one knew who he was. No one was checking for him. He wasn't one of, he wasn't. Token, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't a. I doubt he had a hundred. I doubt he had ten G's in his bank account. A hundred G's, starving, probably eating cup of noodles every week. You know what I'm saying? No friends, only ladies to to to, to show him some love is the ones he got to pay for. The way mm. you know what I'm saying? Like and off comes here comes HBO <laughs> with a contract. Man, he hopped on that, bro. No more noodles for him. This you week. really got to think about people's financial situations too when they sell things. You know what I'm saying? If you're in a tight squat, a tight position, and I come to you with bread, you'll see. You'll... I remember the film. All right, I'm not even gonna say what the film is. I'm gonna let you guys in the chat guess it. Here's a film where a father needed to come up with some money to help his sick loved one. Said father needed the money very fast. Said father has a yard sale. Said father listed a color TV on his front lawn for a nice amount of money. Because you could get money for a color TV back in the 80s or 90s whenever this film takes place. Man picks up a color TV and says, give you $10. <laughs> Man who's selling the color TV says, man, that's a color TV. $10? All right, man. He let that color TV go for $10 because he knew... And there it is. <laughs> God dang, who was that? Steven. Mr. Jules 559? Mr. Jules, Jules 559. Five, Congratulations. Hey. That's, that's my movie, by the yeah, way. Yeah, John Q. That's my movie, by the way. Let that color TV go for a, a stupid low amount because he needed the money. He was at a low point. Here mm-hmm. comes somebody with some little bit of money. 
take him. You know, take him. <laughs> Who are you, a Jedi? Take. I'll tell the how, I'll tell the council about how you're doing. Yeah, take him. Take. Yeah, one of those situations. Can you can understand that, right? Yeah, man. Hey, look. Ned Flanders was crying. He was like, I can't even go to the Holy Bible. And Homer said, Why not? Because I sold it to you for a dollar. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look, look. I mean, look, look. I get, I get, I get. Yeah, Corvus, you I got get, it too, but you weren't first. I only call out the first one. I, I, I get, I get what, what you're saying. I, I get it, but that wasn't a good example. I uh, mean, I mean, he he bought that TV, you know, like he like to lay on it and. Slap it like that, and he can do that. No, no. I'm so, saying, so what if what if he here's a, what if he bought that TV, and on his way off the with the same TV he just bought, he took the TV and did this, and broke it right in front of his face. That's the equivalent. Mom. Okay. I will be mad. Yeah. I will be. <laughs> okay. That's the equivalent. Him smashing your 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 beloved TV in front of your face. Uh, you, so he can't say nothing because I sold it to you. I'm just, I oh, will dang. I will be upset, but you'll be upset. But it is his. But you're but I you'll be upset, and, and you'll be upset, I, and I'm maybe saying, John, maybe the John Q may will tell his neighbor, man, that motherfucker smashed my color TV, complaining well, about him. Well, and stuff. No, 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 no. I'm saying he can complain. What he what what he's saying? It makes sense. I get it. But do you fault him for it though? No, no. Well, all right, but, that's all but, I'm saying. But, but it doesn't mean anything. Like they don't have to listen to him. They I know. I agree with you on that too. That's what I'm saying. No, that's not the the argument. Argument is should they should he be able to complain? Yeah. I think yes. You're making it seem like he shouldn't. No, no, no. You well, can't say nothing because you sold it. No, well, well, he well, can't well, complain. But but nobody nobody's going to care. A lot of people care, bro. He's he George R. R. Martin, creator his, of his Game fa- of Thrones. This but is his what world. we were saying is and that it, he it, could complain. But the people who are doing the story, they don't care. But the thing is, I agree. The thing is, why he complains and people start to listen to him because he does have pull. Uh, HBO just gonna throw some more racks at him and say, "Shut up," because like yeah, they did with Mark Hamill in Star Wars. Mm-hmm. If, if that's his way, and Ernie if Hudson, that's his way to get more Wilson. money, then let him do it. Hey Fiona, hey look man, take hey Fiona, dollars and shut your mouth. Hey, hey shut Fiona. your pie holes. <laughs> shut your whore mouth. Bubble says, here's the only issue with this. When you sell something, you should be at peace with it being the right deal and on the right terms. Correct. Once you sell it, it's gone. Release yeah. control too soon or on bad terms. Don't yeah, but sometimes people. That's on you. But sometimes people change their ideas, the, G. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. That's as, far as, that's as far as business. And yes, I'm sure he was happy with the deal. I'm pretty sure he got a nice amount of money. But that's not what Bubba was saying. That does not mean he can't come out and say and criticize what's happening. Peep game. He can not come out. Peep game. We're. We, we all agree that he can't come out and complain. What if we didn't agree with that in the beginning? Because you said he shouldn't, he can't speak because he sold it. That's what your argument was in the beginning. That's what got we, us here. We can't speak you to can't, the writers. We can't speak to the writers. Well, like that's what we were saying. You can't speak to the writers. I mean, you could complain, go talk to your fan base, and can I talk to you for a second, man? Um, you've been my fan for a while, and I, I hate the way they're doing this story. But once that goes to the the, the, the people, away from the me, producers, I sold it. and everything, it's. We don't care. But, but, he gave but, it the, to us. but the Game of Thrones writers did come to him for small things. They just didn't use his stuff. Why come to me and not use any of my stuff? So check it out. Like, say if you I, sold your car, right? I and you sold your car that. to an individual. He says, man, I need a car to get to work. I'm struggling. And you're like, dude, struggling. this is my baby, man. I love this car, man. He's like, man, I'm going to take care of your car. I promise, man, just sell it to me, man. I got you. I'm going to make sure this car runs forever. You sell him that car, and you see that car next week. Got a busted window, lights broken, effed up car, making noise, clunk, piece of junk now. You're going to feel some type of way. That's a, that's a fast yeah. way to mess up a car in a week. It yeah. happens, Gene. It happens. A lot of women uh, wreck cars. Yeah. I, 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 real life experience. Yeah. Oh, shit. Then, then, <laughs> now, now, you, know, you know it. Now, now I know I know. That this isn't really uh, it's not, it's not a good example, but it's same thing with me. Like, I live in an apartment. That didn't allow pets, and then and I had a cat. I bought a cat, a little kitty. Aww. You know, Aww. you know, oh, he dumped man. his ass out too, huh? No, 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 no. I, I, I was like, I feel sorry for his future. No, no, no. no. I was, <laughs> I I was sorry like, for his mother. I was like fourteen. I, I was out of that step in the uh, rabbit stage. I think he was at throwing cats to the wall. And okay. then, and then the uh, our manager, he <laughs> upgraded. Our, ma- <laughs> our manager cats found. Fly. <laughs> our manager found out uh, 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 about the cat. And then he told us to get rid of it, you know. And I love this cat very much, uh, very oh, dearly. Shoot. How did you get rid of it, bro? Uh, 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 no, 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 no. We 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 sold it to 
to somebody that we knew. And once we sold it, we still kept going back. Like for like two months, we kept going back, you know, just to check on the cat. You know, how's she, how's she doing? You know, she, and then then one, the guy was like, uh, "She's mine now. You can stop coming, <laughs> right?" So so it's like like I, I get I get it. You still have concerns. You still, you still yeah. You still have it. Yeah. yeah. But maybe for me, it, it was a little bit different because I had to get rid of it. You know, they chose to get rid of it. Um, but I'm saying you can still have passion for it. And you can still say things about it. But in his case. It doesn't mean anything because yeah, he funny. sold it. So. We're going on life stories now. Hey, I, 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 I had a rabbit. Uh, three X all day, page ninety-seven. <laughs> I had a rabbit, and I love remember, cats. You, I love you cats. You remember my rabbit? What rabbit? Um, Smokey. When I was, <laughs> when I was uh, uh, living with uh, my aunt. Yeah, I remember the Vaguely, rabbit. Vaguely, yeah. No, was I remember he, the rabbit. Was he dark yeah. gray? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's and why I, I was going like this yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Because tormenting that rabbit. <laughs> and I used to, I used to take him on walks. We used to run around in the in the grass area and everything. Big and I and I had and I sold him. What size hoodie are you? Huh? Medium, medium. J 3s a uh, medium. Yeah, I'm a medium. And I sold and I sold my rabbit to um, Nick. <laughs> yeah, they were selling. They were right, carrots right. and like they Pokemon and stuff. And, right, right, right. And uh, and <sighs> my rabbit got fat. He was fat, like, put like a mini rug. I was like, Nick, you're not going to take him outside and give him exercise, you know, work him out. I mean, How you take a rabbit outside? Hope he comes back? My rabbit, he was cool. Trust me. I used to w- walk him outside. With you, you light skin. He dark skin. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, just playing, but how? you're his original owner. Maybe yeah. he would have ran away from Nick and never came back. <sighs> Maybe Same thing with Evie. That. I sold Evie to Antonio, but we all know when I came in a building, Evie didn't listen to nobody else but me. Right. See? It happens that way. And I had to get rid of Evie because BG wasn't having it. Uh, we're going to take a 10, 10 second intermission. 10 seconds. We're back. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to change topics because we got to move on. Uh, I would like to – oh, no, hold on. There's a couple of donations that I missed. How did I miss donations? I guess that freaking topic was so fire, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Fire. <clears throat> that topic was fire. Hour went by already? Oh my God. Eric Ramzani, $10. To you, bro. Uh, Eric Ramzani says, George said in the interview that he already had enough savings and he didn't need money. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's finish the comment. He trusted HBO more than anyone to make sure his story, he, make sure, wait, he trusted HBO more than anyone else to make his story at the time. He didn't know he would, won't finish the books. So he trusted them. He trusted them. And they betrayed his trust. Go like Lucas. They say Cersei his stuff, Good. bro. DGMS says $2 euros. GRRM was called American Tolkien in 2005. That's him, by the way. Tight. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, Game of Thrones slipped a little, but still the best show since Spartacus, says Kane X. Spartacus, uh, was nice. Spartacus was nice. You need to watch Breaking Bad, bro. Uh, Spartacus was <laughs> so sucky, bro. Nah, Spartacus. Because he didn't take my advice. Didn't I warn you not to trust <laughs> anyone, Dr. Jones? <laughs> Donovan. Movie. Movie. Here's your chance, chat, before we go to the next topic. Man, you're going to make me go watch that. It's on I'd like to thank Flash right for being here. Shout out to you, Flash, man. I love you, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey. Thanks, man. Go, go get the switch. Hey. <laughs> Pound it. Uh. There you go. Oh. Indy 3. <laughs> Rashid C. Got it. Bam. Shout out to Rashid C. Indiana Jones and the last crusade. Rashid C. Got it. Ice132412 got it too. Uh, but he was uh, a little late. NDC got him to it, bro. Tight. <laughs> All right. So, guys, we will be right back in 30 <laughs> seconds. <laughs>